Welcome, it's Advocate Television, Crimes Against Children. Today, we're at the Fresno City Hall. Citizens are trying to file lawsuits against the county. CPS is not investigating child abuse, and we're sick of it. The cops are not doing their job. The DA is not prosecuting crimes in the county. Crimes Against Children on camera, Advocate Television. We're live here in Fresno, California. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna ask for that complaint form. Let's go. Got their face. Yes, how you doing? This is uh, Advocate Television. Uh, we came down here because we've been calling for a complaint and uh, citizens are calling for the complaint form and they're not getting it. And so we're wondering if you can possibly give us the complaint form. Well, can you specify what complaint form Whatever complaint form comes out of this office. What complaint do you have? What kind of complaint do I have? Against the county. The county? Like Fresno cops or CPS. If you need to make a, a complaint against Fresno PD, you can um, do that through Fresno PD. They have their own complaint form. It's just a general complaint, though. It's not. We don't, we don't have that. It's not. Uh, well, we've been we've been calling. Possibly, you could show us what complaint forms you do have. That's what I'm looking for. Maybe maybe that's the right one that I need. Because we, uh, we have is appeal forms for if you want to appeal. Basically, it's just a general complaint form because uh, we have crimes in the county being committed. There's no such thing as a general complaint and, form. And, and we're just trying to make a complaint. You need to have a specific complaint that you're trying to accomplish. All right. We don't have anything like that. If you want to like a complaint for damages, you'd have to go downstairs to risk. For damages. And, and what was your name, by the way? Bernard. Bernard? Do you have a supervisor, by the way, or are you the supervisor? No, I am not a supervisor. Is there any way I can speak with a supervisor? They just have a lot of concerned citizens. They, 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 they've been calling to get the complaint, and they're being told the complaint's online. You're but being very vague about what you want, that's why. Right, well, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, generally, it's a complaint you make when you're gonna file a lawsuit. So the first thing you have to do is file a complaint and then they have 45 days to respond, you know, before it gets took into federal court. And so we came here. I don't here. know anything about that. Right. So hold on. They're back there talking to somebody. Hey, I'm here in the clerk's office and they're asking, they, they said the complaint is too vague. We need to specify what kind of complaint. They've, they've got traffic complaints, zoning, uh, stuff like that. Well, I mean, I mean what, what, what you're doing is you're uh, registering a complaint about your arrest. So it's got to be uh, a complaint against the uh, first police department. Is there anything like that? They said there is complaint forms against the police department. Yeah, okay. there's, there's complaint forms against the police department. Remember, I texted to you though, and I showed you like there was complaints for uh, the police uh, zoning 
And 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 I think you and Marissa said that wasn't the right one. Right, I know because you know we're we're dealing with the Fresno City Police Department and I appreciate it, man. That's not complaints against Fresno County sheriffs, I guess. We have to make sure that it's the police department, not the sheriff's department. Is there a difference? Okay, hold. Hold on real quick. Why don't you ask this lady? And we had a concerned citizen on the phone and they were trying to get a complaint. They were trying to make a complaint against the police department for hate crimes. And uh, he's on the phone on speaker right now. Um, maybe you'd like to ask him specifically what kind of complaint. Am I assuming his name yes, is Corey? Yes, yes. Hi, Corey, this is Brianna. How can I help you? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, you'll want to go to the risk. Uh, so you'll go to the plant, uh, personnel department on the first floor. You'll want to contact risk. They'll have a complaint form there. You'll fill that out. You will attach any of your important information, perhaps like the date, the time, maybe the officer's name or their ID number. And then you'll complete that form. You'll submit it to them and then they'll get in contact with you. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. So you got that, Isaac? Yeah. Isaac, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, Corey, you guys have a good one. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Do you know how to get there? Yeah, uh, first floor, right? Down. Yeah, if you get off, go on the elevator, as soon as you come off the elevator, okay. front front, it goes through those doors Thank you. Across. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, they were very nice and very kind. You know, I wish, I wish the cops were like that with the citizens. We wouldn't be so uh, emotional. You know what I mean? Hey, we're here because of you, man. Hey, guys. How you doing? What are you guys doing? Uh, uh, getting a, a filing a complaint for a false arrest. For who? For, uh, for me. Really? Yeah. That's the council member right there. He's going to go back to all his buddies, all the council members. Are gonna know they're right here now. They're right here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Crimes Against Children, Advocate Television, Fresno City Hall. Hello. Hi. Hi, right, we just came here to pick up a complaint. We're trying to make a complaint against the uh, Fresno police, and they, they told us to come down here to pick up the complaint. Um, I'm trying to for damages? False arrest. Oh, okay, let me get my supervisor. Thank you. Hi, hello. Uh, I just came from upstairs. I was in the wrong location. I just came to pick up a, a complaint form. I was trying to make a complaint against the police for a false arrest. Okay, um, you know, we don't have, this is the personnel department, so we're in charge of like the hiring, uh, we do harassment investigations and risk management. Right. Um, you know, I'm not sure if you would need to go to the police themselves or if you'd just like to write up a complaint. I do have, like, clean for damages one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if that's the only one you got, I mean, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, because we we just been calling and uh, they told us it was online and then we couldn't find it, so we just came in person. I mean, the city... But this is only for damages? Well, this is like, yeah, if, if you believe that the city has person or property, has damaged your person or property, and you want to make a claim against the city, you can fill this out and turn it back in. That's it, the city damaged property? So this is this yourself is only for, for your property. So this is only for property. No, it'd be for yourself. Right. For your property. Oh, for myself or for property. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there a stop to limitation on that? Um, the claims have to be turned in by. Is it like six months within the date that it happened? Risk man one filing a claim for damages against the city of Fresno. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we don't have a claim. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, 
Welcome to Advocate Television, Crimes Against Children. Today, we're at the Fresno Police Headquarters. And the reason why we're here is to make a report on camera. A report about child abuse, a report about assaulting the father of that child, and a complaint for a false arrest, a hate crime committed none other than the Fresno Police Department against the United States Advocate of America. They hate me because I help kids and I won't stop helping kids until the day I die. And even then, the film will still live forever. Follow me as we expose corruption in Fresno, California. Eight to five. What time is it? It's not five. They locked it. They they locked it. It was wasn't there somebody just in there? Yeah, I think so. Police department doors are closed to the public. When we first walked up, there was people inside. Hi, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm out. I'm outside, and I, uh, the doors are locked. I was trying to go inside and make a report. Uh, reporting uh, crimes. Uh, the first one was uh, uh, private property damage of over a thousand dollars, and the second one was uh, an, uh, an assault and a, that led to a spine injury. The assault happened 4-22-22-6729 East Michigan Avenue. Uh, no charges have been filed and I was trying to get in contact with an investigator. My name is Isaac Mongia. I am the victim. Victims of crime had already sent me a letter, but uh, I don't understand how I'm a victim if nobody's investigating, so I, I, was, I was trying to find out what's going on. Yeah, the, I got a letter from the Victims of Crime Unit, you know, telling me I'm a victim and to fill out the Victims of Crime pamphlet. And I'm just kind of, uh, kind of in, kind of uh, lost here because if I'm a victim of a crime, where, where's the investigator at? Why, why, uh, where's the cop at? Well, I'm trying to get a complaint for him and I also need to get some records, the records to the incident, the arresting officer. Okay, and what about the complaint? All right. Basically the cops, they don't want to help, told me to file the victims of crime paperwork. File it and send it in and an investigator would call me. That's what he said. Um, as far as the police reports, they told me, you know, to get online or if I want to make a, a, a complaint to get online. And so they didn't allow me to make a police report. They didn't allow me to make a police report. He asked me when the attack happened. I told him when it happened. And his words were, well, it sounds to me like you already did what you needed to do as if I can't call back to make sure that it's being investigated. So I guess we're gonna have to go somewhere else and keep on exposing it. The Fresno police don't wanna open up the doors. Look, they're locked. The doors are locked. They're not allowing citizens to come in here and use the services that we pay them to use. Thank you. We're at the DA's office today. We'll be exposing child abuse. We'll be exposing hate crimes, federal crimes, crimes against children, advocate television. We're here today because of Lisa Smith camp. Stop terrorizing the community, Lisa.
closed. Wow, it's closed. So the Fresno Police Department is closed. It's 2.41. So office hours from 1 to 4, that means it should be open. So we can't go to the police department to make a report and we can't come to the DA's office regarding any crimes because it's locked. Well, if the cops, COVID is over. So if the cops aren't letting people in to make a report and if the DA isn't allowing people to come, this is a public entrance. So why can't we come in? Hmm. Very interesting what's going on in the county. They're covering up cases, child abuse cases, assault cases, attempted murder cases. This has got to stop. We've got terrorists in the county. The DA is rogue. I was arrested recently. The cops advised me and some citizens to go to the perpetrator's house where we would take the report. Cops did not meet me there. I was attacked by the perpetrator we were attempting to make the report against and he was not arrested. He was not arrested. Over a thousand dollars of camera equipment was also damaged. These crimes were on camera and the police are committing hate crimes by not investigating the crimes. This district attorney knows Randy Clifton. He's in the lodge with the district attorney Lisa Smith camp. They're conspiring against the rights of children and it needs to stop now. The citizens are very emotional. They're mad, they're angry. They want to see their kids. They want to see their kids get justice. They want to see their kids loved. They want to see their kids happy. But this lady, she won't allow that. She won't allow it. She's depriving citizens of their rights, which is de deprivation of rights, acting under color of law, Title 18, conspiracy. The only way children can stay abused is to deprive them of their rights. And it needs to stop. Join us July 19th. We're having a child abuse refuge camp. Very special event. We're going to be at Woodward Park. Victims turn advocate live on camera. We'll be exposing corruption regarding lawyers, judges, cops, CPS, anybody involving children. Children are the future, and until we protect those children, we do not have a future. Thank you, Advocate Television. Guys, we got something. Hey, I just let the public know. They ain't letting nobody in. You know what I'm saying? But see, now this is good now, because we I can wrap all this up.